Hello everyone. In this INR number 81, I am going to tell you about a Burkitt's lymphoma. So what is Burkitt's lymphoma? If you look at the nature of the Burkitt lymphoma, they are mature B cell type of lymphoma. Right? So mature B cell. Mature cells are CD34 negative. Remember, stem cells are immature. And immature cells are CD34 positive. Immature stem cells are CD34 positive, but mature cells are CD34 negative and they are B cell origin. So that is why immunoglobulin will be also positive. So that is why sometimes we denote this mature B cell lymphoma as a CD34 negative immunoglobulin positive type of lymphoma, right? What is the origin of this Burkitt lymphoma? Origin is from the germinal center of the lymph node because they are originating from the germinal center of the lymph node. That is why they will be positive for the BCL6. So that is the important point about the Burkitt lymphoma. They are BCL6 positive. But on the other hand, we should remember they are BCL2 negative because usually in cancers, you will be finding that anti apoptotic is positive, but here it will be BCL2 negative. So that is what you need to remember. BCL2 will be negative, right? So we have to remember they are germinal center origin, BCL6 will be positive, but BCL6, BCL2 will be negative and they have poor prognosis. Why we are saying poor prognosis? Because in this patient, you will have CNS involvement, right? They have early CNS involvement or common CNS involvement and they are the having maximum proliferative index. If you remember day before yesterday, when I have posted tumor lysis syndrome, that time I told you the maximum tumor lysis syndrome is associated with Burkitt lymphoma because Burkitt lymphoma is having maximum proliferation index, right? That is why they are the most common cause of tumor lysis syndrome, right? And in this Burkitt lymphoma, uh, we can divide them into two broader categories just for the sake of understanding. I'm saying endemic Burkitt and sporadic. Endemic will be pediatrics, African, because endemic, so African patient will be commonly there. So African pediatric baby. Now you can see this page, this image. This is the baby, African baby, and most commonly they are associated with Epstein-Barr virus. So E for endemic, E for Epstein-Barr virus, and most common site will be face. You can see this is the face of the African baby, and that most common site, more precisely, it is the mandible, right? So most common site will be face, and what will be the most common site? Mandible. And if you look for the sporadic type of Burkitt lymphoma, they are commonly seen in adults and they are less commonly associated with Epstein-Barr virus and most common site is abdomen. In abdomen also, it is ileocecal mass, which is most commonly affected, right? So now what will be the lymph node biopsy? Because BCL2 is negative, means anti-apoptotic is negative, so apoptosis will be faster. So when you will see the tumor cells, they are a small round blue tumor cell. So remember tumor cell, we denote them by a small round blue tumor cell. Why we call them a small round blue tumor cell? Because cytoplasm will be scanty and nucleus will be prominent, right? So they are a small round blue cell tumor. So and as I said, there is a BCL2 negative, so they will undergo apoptosis very faster. So this apoptotic debris, which will be formed in uh, numerous in number, it has to be cleaned by a cell called as macrophage. So macrophage will also come. So now you can see this lymph node biopsy. In this lymph node biopsy, you can see small round blue tumor cell a small round blue tumor cell. All these are cluster of a small round blue tumor cell. So they will go for the tumor apoptosis and apoptosis will be cleaned by, see this is the tumor debris. It will be cleaned by macrophages. You can see these are all foamy macrophages, foamy macrophages. So foamy macrophages are like a stars and the tumor cell, which are a small round blue tumor cell, they are like a sky. So that is why lymph node biopsy of Burkitt lymphoma is described as a starry sky appearance. Right, so it is a starry sky appearance. For the diagnosis of the Burkitt lymphoma, what we do, we can do uh, three important things on bone marrow aspirate. We can see the nature apart from the lymph node biopsy. Lymph node biopsy already we have seen. So bone marrow aspirate, we will see for the nature of the cell and what we will see in the bone marrow aspirate. When you will see, this is the bone marrow aspirate. Now look at all these cells. What you are seeing uh, commonly, they are all are having vacuoles. So many small, small vacuoles are there. So bone marrow aspirate is showing you lot of vacuole within the cell. And these vacuoles are containing lipid. So lipid containing vacuoles are present and their cytoplasm is royal blue. So you can see these are royal blue color. You can see royal blue cytoplasm is present. So royal blue cytoplasm, 
and vacuole these are the two clinching factor when you find in the bone marrow aspirate cell that is diagnostic for the burkitt lymphoma so royal blue cytoplasm and lipid vacuoles right so this is one thing we are seeing on burkitt lymphoma diagnosis immunophenotyping because they are b cell type so cd10 positive and cd19 positive because they were arising from the germinal center so they are bcl6 positive and cytogenetics they will be having translocation of 814 translocation between 2 to 8 translocation between 8 to 22 see in all of them we you might be observing that there is a chromosome number 8 which is common because on this chromosome number 8 you will find there is a cmic translocation so this is important pyq cmic translocation will be present so this point we have to remember that cmic translocation will be diagnostic right so this is the chromosome number 8 so everywhere you are seeing chromosome number 8 chromosome number 8 so this chromosome number 8 is for cmic translocation which will confirm the diagnosis of burkitt lymphoma either 814 or 28 or 822 so these are bone marrow aspirate immunophenotyping and cytogenetics so diagnosis is done treatment what will be the treatment so here this is the line of harrison this combination chemotherapy is highly effective and what is that chemotherapy combination epoch r so epoch r is the combination chemotherapy which is the most effective treatment for the burkitt lymphoma so what is this etoposide phosphate p4 prednisone oncovin which is also known as vincristine sulfate cyclophosphamide hydroxy downorubicin on and rituximab so these are the six drugs which are used in the chemotherapy regimen of the burkitt lymphoma apart from this we should remember intrathecal chemotherapy you remember in the beginning i said cns involvement is very high and that is why poor prognostic that is why we say that burkitt lymphoma is having poor prognosis or bad prognosis so that is why chemotherapy drug should be given directly into the spinal fluid so that it can reach to the brain and spinal cord and it can prevent the metastatic spread right so these are important point about the burkitt lymphoma a very high yielding topic keep revising this topic for your upcoming exam my best wishes to all of you